Hi, Year 2. It's Miss Addy. Today for maths, our learning question says, can I make equal groups of twos? Our steps to success say, I can count forwards and backwards in steps of twos. I can organise objects into groups of twos. And I can say how many equal groups there are. And I can work out the total. So we're focusing on multiples of two. So our star words, our first star word is multiples of two. And pattern, because today we're looking for patterns in our numbers. We're going to be looking for odd, evens, tens and ones, and how they relate to counting in twos. Today I'm going to be using some slides from the NCETM. I think they're really helpful, and the website's there if you want to find out more about them. So before we can begin, we need to practice counting in twos. So we always start with zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. So my numbers are increasing at the moment because we're counting on they're getting larger. And I've used Numicon because Numicon is a really helpful representation when I count in twos. Let's try counting back together. You ready? Twenty. 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. Have you noticed a pattern? Have a think back to our star words, odd and even. That might give you a bit of a clue. So here's a number line. And look what happens. So I've started with zero, and it's skipped. It's skipped two. It's gone straight to the number two. It's skipped two again. It's gone to the number four. It's skipped two. It's gone to number six. You might have noticed by now I'm skipping all of the odd numbers and saying the even numbers, because when we count in twos, we're counting even numbers. Now, even numbers are numbers that end in zero, two, four, six, eight, and eight. So it will always be the one, so the last digit that is an even number. Let's go backwards one last time. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, eight, six, four, two, and zero. It's always a little bit trickier counting backwards. Right, I've got some counters here, and they are organised into groups of twos. I can also organise any object into groups of twos. So right now I've got hedgehogs, and they're in groups of twos. If it's in a group of two, it's also known as a pair. Can you count how many hedgehogs I have on the screen in total by counting in twos? Two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 14. Right, I think we're really great at counting in twos now, but we're focusing on groups of twos. Now, here are my hedgehogs, but they're all jumbled up, and I need to work out the total. I could sit there and go, one, two, three, four, and count them one by one, but I might get a little bit muddled. It might help me if I put my hedgehogs into groups of twos. One group of two, two groups of two, Three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. I have six groups of two, six equal groups. They're equal because the same amount are in each group. Can you count how many hedgehogs I have all together now? I know I have six groups of two. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve in total. Six groups of two, twelve in total. Have a look at my counters. They're organised a little bit more neatly than my hedgehogs are. How many groups of two do I have here? Three groups of two. I have two, four, six counters in total. I've added some more now. How many groups of two do I have now? Four groups of two. Five groups of two. Six groups of two. Seven groups of two. If I organise them like this, sometimes it's easier to work out the total.
like I did then, like I said, it's in a more consistent and neater way. It's easier for me to straight away see there are two in each group because they always look the same. They're organized exactly the same next to each other in a row. This helps me. And like I said, this is called an array. And arrays help us because arrays will help us first of all see how many there are in total. They'll help us work out how many groups there are. And then we can work out the total and this will help me write equations. So as you can see here, my first, those pink dots over there, they're organized into groups of three. So this helps me write this, the number sentence three plus three. But if I look at them going down in columns, they're in groups of two there. So I can now write a repeated addition sentence. Two plus two plus two equals six. And this helps me now with multiplication. We're going to learn a little bit more about this next week, so don't worry too much. But arrays help us because they can help us write repeated addition sentences and they can help us to write multiplication sentences. So they're very, very helpful. So what I would like you to do is to find some groups of objects. It could be anything around your house. It could be pencils, paper clips, pieces of pasta, counters or cubes, whatever you can find, and put them into groups of two. And then count them out by using our new language that we've been learning. One group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, and so on. When you've organized them into equal groups of two, remember they must always have two in a group, then you can count them in twos by remembering our special pattern of counting the even numbers. If you've done that, have a look for some other things in pairs because when we count in twos, remember this is, these are pairs of objects. So things like socks and shoes. And then later on, you can draw your objects into groups of twos and record how many groups of two there are. Remember, you can draw any object you like. I've just got counters here. So have a go 